Welcome to another video right here on FE Builds. It's good to be with you once again with another video on this special RC. Um, actually really like this RC uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first reason is I'm a very, very big fan of the LC80, the actual LC80. Secondly, just the way it's built by FMS and the way the shocks respond, the way everything responds, you know, usually put Fusion Pros. I, I usually put uh, Desert Lizards on most of my off-road RCs, but on this one, I just wanted to keep it stock standard because it just feels good as you drive it around, the way the wheels articulate and everything, and uh, just the way everything is set up just goes well. I had chosen the gray color because obviously um, the blue one is the one that comes with the brushless motor. If you could get gray straight from the factory with a brushless motor, I would have chosen that one uh, above this one. But um, obviously you could only get the gray, which is obviously my favorite color for this specific car. And uh, yeah, so I got a few questions. And the first question was, my light keeps flashing orange, saying the battery, there's something wrong with the battery. I assume you're talking about the remote. I'm assuming you're talking about that light. So that's flashing after you put the Fusion SE in. Um, one quick question regarding that. Did you leave the receiver the same or did you change out the receiver to the same one I put in here, which I'll show you just now. If you did change out the receiver and it's flashing, have you done the settings? You'll need this programming card to actually do that with the Fusion SE. So you just program the battery. I believe it gives you a few options, either 2S, 3S or Auto. I usually put mine on Auto, but uh, if you see that you're only gonna use a 2S battery in this uh, RC every single time you drive it, then set it to 2S. If you're gonna use 3S, then 3S. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the Fusion SE uses, because I've worked on a lot of motors, I would have to go and look at the specific spec sheet of that uh, Hobby Wing Fusion SE and then tell you. But depending on your programming card and the programming parameters, um, I would say set the battery option to auto. So if you make a mistake and one day change from 2S to 3S, it will automatically detect it and cover it. If you have done that and the problem still persists, I would say try another battery. See if it doesn't go away. If it does, then I haven't yet faced that issue. Um, but let's get on to the next question concerning this video. So I'm going to pause quickly and then I'm going to open the body and show you exactly what I did. Uh, basically, I used a receiver that pairs with this original remote and the reason why I did that is when I tried to change to another receiver and another transmitter I couldn't get the lights to work because the receiver used in here that pairs with this remote has a light control module in it built in so I had to find another receiver from one of my other RC cars that didn't mind having another receiver put in and its receiver taken out and still works fine. I had to find that receiver and put that in here and bind that to this remote over here. So I could have the original remote and I just wired it all up. So I'll open up the body and I'll show you what I did. So obviously what you've seen from the first video is I put a Fusion Pro in here and I got everything to work with the original remote. And the way I did that is, I believe this is a FlySky remote. I stand under correction. Um, maybe you can put it in the comments if I'm wrong. But um, this receiver is exactly the same as what pairs with this remote over here. So I took this out of our RGT, but it's obviously rebranded RGT. The number on it, if I can just get it to focus, is R6DBS. So as you can see over there, there's places where the lights actually plug in You've got channel one, which is obviously the steering, channel two, the throttle, channel three, I believe that goes to the front lights, channel five is the lights. And um, I think this 
receiver has a built-in lighting controller lighting controller because for some reason it still works everything still you can control it from the remote and you can have all the exact same functions so this receiver is basically the OEM receiver that comes with it just not paired together with the ESC I almost said ECU because I've been working on uh, real cars so much lately but I just love this RC I mean it sits in a special place on one of my shelves and I just really really love it so I hope that answers your question the R6D BS I believe it's a fly sky but it basically pairs with this remote and um, it just works amazing everything works just like stock standard so that's an answer to that question I'll get to the next question now so I'll pause this video quickly check on the next one okay so the next question I was asked was can you add differential locking and unlocking to this um, RC and it already comes with lock differentials um, they're constantly locked you can't unlock them um, maybe if you modify them quite hectically but I haven't attempted to do so because I mean it's a RC it's moving slow you're not going fast with it so you don't need them unlocked unless you want to drive really high speeds around a track or something and you need each wheel to move at its own speed but I mean for crawling for trailing um, lock diffs are good enough I would say if you want to do a mod where you put in differentials that can lock and unlock it's possible to do but it's a lot of work and I would rather say why not just buy the brushless version of this then where it comes with the locking and unlocking differentials and last but not least the wheels that I put on were from Timu and these old tires are basically replicas of the I believe they're replicas of the Maxi's uh, Trepidors so I like those tires so I put them on this this rig so I hope that's answered most of the questions I'll quickly just check and then we'll wrap up on this video and soon I'm gonna actually take this car out and uh, do some driving here and there uh, but just light trail I won't copy the other guys doing heavy stuff because obviously I don't want to scratch this body to me this is a model that I bought specifically for the shelf um, so yeah let me just pause quickly and I'll be back to check uh, if there's any other questions otherwise we'll wrap this video up okay so for the last question top speed I haven't measured that I haven't because it's a crawler I haven't really put a I've gone I haven't gone out of my way to put a GPS on it and actually track the top speed I've done that for only one crawler that I have one trail car and that's the traction hobby when I put the fusion 8 in it but um, it's much faster than um, the stock standard setup so it's quite nice having the fusion pro 2300 in and um, the Fusion SE is also nice, very smooth motor, very nice with its 1200 kV, um, very torquey, and uh, I think they both work really well. I've had some good experience with both. I think both are really smooth. Personal opinion, I think the Fusion Pro has a bit more top end and a bit more punch. The Fusion SE is a bit more smooth in terms of my own opinion. So that's a wrap for this video. I hope it helped you. I hope it was beneficial. I'll end off with a small clip of uh, this car driving over some obstacles. Um, I think I had posted it previously. So enjoy that. Until next time, cheers.